This video will cover the automation features in Freshdesk, describe their functionalities, and tell you how you can automate mundane tasks in your help desk. Every help desk includes a set of repetitive tasks that you have to perform every day for the proper functioning of your help desk. Freshdesk makes it easy for you to streamline your efforts by providing you with a set of automations that will let you perform a whole range of tasks automatically. They can be used to minimize the time you spend on managing your help desk and getting it organized. In this video, we'll be looking at the supervisor automation. The supervisor is an automation that runs on all tickets in your help desk every hour. It lets you perform maintenance tasks that have to be performed to keep your support organized. Let us create a sample supervisor rule to understand how this works. To get started, go to the Admin tab in your Freshdesk account and click on Supervisor under Help Desk Productivity. Click on the New Rule button to create the sample rule. You can edit this later on after the rule is created. In the next page, you can start creating your supervisor rule by giving it a name and description. Make sure you explain what the rule does here to ensure that you or other admins can understand it in the future. You can now choose an event condition from the drop-down list and select the filters for it, which would trigger a set of actions to be performed. Specify whether all or any of the conditions should be satisfied to carry them out. You can even add additional triggers by clicking on Add New Event and delete any if you don't see fit. For example, if the condition for tickets coming from Sophia Inc. is to keep track of a ticket's type and the number of agent interactions, then select Type from the first drop-down list and Problem in the corresponding filter. Click on Add New Condition and select Agent Interactions, first drop-down list, and enter the number of interactions that would trigger the action in the corresponding filter. Now you can define the actions that need to be carried out by choosing an action from the drop-down list and selecting the filters for it. Note that the actions are carried out in the order you set them in. For example, if the actions were to set ticket priority as high, select Set Priority from the drop-down list and then select that it's to be changed to high on the corresponding filter. Once you're done, don't forget to click Save. Once you are done creating your rules, you can manage them from the Supervisor page. Here, you'll be able to turn them on or off based on your needs. Also, if you have multiple supervisor rules in place, mind the order in which they're arranged. If you have more than one of them matching a ticket, only the first one will be applied. So make sure you order your supervisor rules and organize them in a way so the most important rules are higher up in the order. This brings us to the end of our tutorial on automations. To learn more about the others, please watch the rest of the videos in this series.